This video is made possible by the following sponsors. Make sure to check out their products as well as the rest of my gear in the description below. Hey guys, Jimmy here and welcome to Spin Tires Mud Runner for another video. Now I really enjoyed the first Spin Tires game. Many happy memories of uh, playing it over on Twitch and playing it with the guys on TeamSpeak. Usually our scenarios ended up with one of us rolling down the hill and being dragged along for a couple of miles by <laughs> one of the others, but that was all part of the experience and it was very fun. Recently this was released, which I guess is the sequel to Spin Tires. And I'm going to do something today that I've never done in spin tires, which is try and use a wheel. For those who don't know, I have a OSW with the uh, larger midge motor and of course the Houston Cavell pedals as well. I'm going to be using pedals as well as the wheel. And I've also got this Fanatec SQ shifter here as well. So I'm going to be doing pretty much a full manual drive and also using the newly implemented cockpit camera. To test out the wheel, pedal and shifter, I'm going to be taking on some of the challenges. Um, now, I don't really know what these challenges are. Um, I'm going to assume they're just scenarios that get increasingly more difficult as time goes on. But I'm going to hope they give us a nice sort of overview of what it's like to use a wheel and spin tyres and whether I prefer that or using my trusty gamepad. So our first challenge of the day is called the rig and I have to pick up a trailer then drive the rig to a small town. Sounds easy enough. Welcome to the challenge! Again, primary objective is to pick up the trailer and then drive the rig to a small town. Bonus objectives, don't damage your vehicle or any other vehicle. Damn. Don't drive in the opposite road lane and use the cockpit camera when driving with the trailer. So we're going to be doing that, definitely. Um, I need to try and remember what all these buttons do. I've set them all up, but my mind is a mess. So, uh, please hold. Right, so we first need to pick up the trailer, activate the navigation map. Okay, we'll do that. Here we are. Use my mouse for this. Okay, so... Okay, easy enough. Don't drive on the wrong side of the road. Just go get ourselves a nice trailer. Right, so I guess we'll put ourselves on board then in this big old trucko. Let's start her up. Now, I do have force feedback enabled as well. I have no idea how this is going to be. Any one way to find out though. So, touch in. Oh, wait, I've got the parking brake on, which is one of these buttons up here. No, that's the horn. <laughs> okay, found it. Found it. We're good. Right, let's go got nine gears jesus i haven't got uh nine gears set here but i'm gonna hope that sort of assigns itself no mirrors of course here very basic looking interior as well full seat back isn't too bad up into second gear i okay you have to really you can't do sport shifts here you have to really clutch in give it some time to figure itself out and then shift up into fourth okay cool oh sugar there's a, <laughs> a right hand turn here so I guess we're now coming on to some dirt for the first time. Uh, we haven't got diff lock or uh, all wheel drive, so we're going to have to be very nice and careful through here. Light throttle. Trying to ride some of these bumps. Trying to have a look at where this navigation is taking me. It wants me to go through this puddle, but I'm I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go around here, I think. It's probably the best, better option. Really racking that second gear. It's very hard to know when to shift up in this already. I'm sort of just guessing based on my speed. Right, so here we are at the destination. Uh, what are we picking up? Position your truck properly to attach the trailer, then reverse towards the trailer. Where is the trailer? Am I going to have to go into a different view for this? Okay, guys, I'm going to cheat slightly just while we're uh, just while we're in this camera, so I can see what's going on. You can see the deformation like, of all the dirt around. Let's take our big Russian truck over through. Got reverse is always difficult to get on this uh, the shifter. So nice and easy. This should be us in now. Reverse it in. All right, okay, so I have to actually have the engine on. And we are attached! Nice! Okay, so we'll go back to... Go back to this now. Um, I need to actually check where I'm going, so back to the navigation map. Oh, man, we're actually quite far away, so I guess we'll just... Pick that bad boy. Let's do it! I like how it's just going over mountains, etc. I'm definitely going to follow this. <laughs> I'm going to just go over these hills, easy. Okay, so we're going to try and stay in the cockpit camera now. Now we have... Ah, jeez, every time. We have... No, doesn't want to do that. Wants to go in first gear. We have no diff lock and no four-wheel drive. We are a two-wheel drive machine here. I don't really know how this is going to go. I assume this is the way out, uh, he says, without really knowing. I'm going to just roll it through. We'll see back isn't awful it's just there's just weight to it it's just like a little weight it's not really 
being affected. That will, you see some of the bumps. I'll, I'll let it go loose here for a second, and you'll, you'll see what, sort of what it's doing. It's more weight than anything else. I'm gonna go for second gear now. There you go. Nice. Okay, so you have to really have the speed to, to change gear because you're off throttle for about a second, and of course in mud that's not really that good. Navigation isn't doing me too uh, too good at the moment. But gear. No, 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 come on. Through the mud. Come on, boy. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. I mean, it's sort of sad not getting to see all the awesome deformation when you're in the uh, in the cockpit camera, but it's still a pretty cool effect. I'm actually going to double check where I'm going because I haven't got any sort of navigation map up at the moment. Well, seeing this navigation isn't working too well, I'm going to assume I've got to go right here. I'm going to just look at the map and go this way through and go from here, I suppose. Oh, wait, no, 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 wrong side of the road. Wrong side of the road. <laughs> the inner Brit in me is coming out. Oh, God, where's this trailer going right now? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's fine. I'm not even going to look. I'm going to just assume it's fine. There you go. First time. First time every time. So you need to go up this road here. Oh, my Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm The clutch is all the way in. I can tell you that now, but it's just... It's really wants a big gap between you changing gears and getting back on the throttle again. We're going all the way up here. We're looking for uh, a left. Which I assume is this here. And we're going to go into town and try and find our location. I'm not going to take any speed off because I need to keep speed up. Same mirrors, from what I can tell so far, no other traffic. It's getting really hazy all of a sudden. Oh, what? Damage for why? Too fast, obviously. As you'd probably expect, the wheel requires quite a bit of movement to get it doing anything. But we're, we're getting there. We're nearly at our destination, I think. I need to check the old map again. Lucky I checked there, because we're meant to be actually taking this, this left-hander here. So, nice and easy. Just destroying a little bit of wildlife. Don't worry about it. Well, this is a rather depressing-looking town. Um, I think I'm going right here. I'm sort of just making it up now. Oh, my... Where's the turning? Oh, I'm going to get this gear shift right eventually. I'm so used to changing gears quickly because I'm a racing driver. No, I'm not. I'm a pretend racing driver. But you can't really do that in this. You have to really give it a year and a half. This truck feels a little bit slow right now. Okay. Oh, wow. I have to really throw on the lock. So we're coming down here. Oh, you're joking. You're joking. Easy. Oh, easy now. Let's not kill the larder. Just kill our engine instead. Flawless! Probably. So we're in some... Come on, go! Get... <laughs> Rip this gearbox. Oh, no! Am I stuck? Easy. A little bit. Only a little bit of throttle. Only a little bit. Only a little bit. I mean, I'm fairly sure I'm going to the right here, but I'm going to just double check. This thing's strength is not on dirt. I like how this game just gives you increasingly inappropriate trucks and vehicles to tackle these conditions. I've got nothing. I've just got rear-wheel drive and loads of... Oh, there's our drop-off point. We're nearly there. Another larder to hit. Do I dare go for second gear? No, I'm going to keep it here, I think. We're, we're making progress in first, so we'll keep it here. And there you go. We only burn... Oh, I've got to reverse it. Turning one of these things around is actually a lot harder than it looks. Turn, please. You can see just how much mud has found its way onto our tyres here. Come on, now. Keep it going. There you go. There is where we need to be. So, I'm going to just straighten her up. Ah, yeah. Put it in reverse. Now, this, this is where my skills from Euro Truck need to come in. This camera is absolutely fucking me right now. Come on. Come on, camera. Be good to daddy. Maybe be good to daddy. I mean, we're in the sort of right ballpark. Right, nearly there. I think this should be it. There you go. We're in enter advanced mode. Get rid of our trailer. I guess there it is. Attach. And bam. Challenge complete. So we didn't get the don't damage your vehicle or any other vehicle. I have no idea what that's about. But we did get the don't drive in the opposite lane. Just... <laughs> And use cockpit camera and drive with the trailer completed. Nice. Okay, that only took us 15 minutes or so. You, you guys want to see all of that. 
So let's try the next one. This one is called repair and refuel. Repair and refuel trucks by using other trucks, then deliver logs to the lumber mill. Bonus objectives are to scare 10 birds by using the horn. Fantastic. Don't drive over the bridge. Find and squash a pumpkin. Important objectives. So we've come into this thick boy, but unfortunately we have no fuel. To deliver the logs you're carrying to the lumber mill, the current truck first needs to be refueled. Switch to a nearby truck with a fuel tank. Let's go find one. Oh dude, what happened? What? I, I just switched to this truck. Well, apparently this truck is seriously damaging these repairs. So now I've got to go find <laughs> a truck that can repair this to refuel the logs to deliver the logs. Easy. So we find ourselves in a rather fashionable looking box. Uh, so I guess now we have to go and drive back to the other truck. So I'm going to set a waypoint and then we'll get on board and go from there. Well, it turns out I don't need a waypoint because it's literally just down the road. Let's try and get, uh, get lost. Parking brake off. Uh, All wheel drive on. This will be a lot easier to drive than the other one. And away we go. And ready. Grinding some nice gears there. Why the hell not? Apparently, I need to scare birds with my horn. Now I'm going to just honk the fuck out of his horn. I have to find some birdos. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> Is this where I want to be going? I feel like I've already missed a turn. <laughs> oh, all I had to do was follow the damn road and you can see where I am already, which is fantastic. So I guess I'm going to turn right here and follow this this puddle down and try and come in behind the other truck. I'm so stupid. Well, I can just about see the other truck now. You can see it there. That is the, uh, the lumber one. So I'm right going to go for second gear here. Oh, don't stall in the water. Come on. Easy. Where are these birds at? I mean, I'm just honking like a madman. I'm not seeing any birds right now. Also, this horn leaves a lot to be desired. It's no seal horn. There's a bird. Screw you! No, they don't seem to care, which is bad. Okay, well, so here's our first trucko. We need to go past that and go to this trucko to then put fuel in. Oh! I've... I've done badly. Okay, we're free of that. So I've got to put fuel in that one. No, repair that one, then put fuel in that, and then we drive away. Okay, so I'm going to just drive up to the side of it. So it can be out of the way. Absolutely wrecking this first gear here. That is nicely parked. I'm good with that. Repair, yes. Okay, nice. So then we want to change the truck. And we go. And now we drive over to this bad boy. Oh, what? I've got to... Oh, I've actually got to go and blooming fuel it up. I need to actually start reading some of these instructions. So the fuel station is apparently just a straight line this way. Yeah, you can see the um, the, the uh, map now actually leading me over there. So we're going to try and take old second gear in a second after we get round here. It looks like I've got power steering. It's quite nice. But it isn't dead. The force feedback is still okay. Driving with a wheel is okay. The only downside is I feel like I have to be in the cockpit view. Driving with a wheel from the exterior view would feel sort of weird. It doesn't really quite work. The, the brain doesn't do the same. Can't quite figure it out. Second gear. Am I gonna? Am I gonna chance third? No, I'm not. Because I can't change gears apparently. Well, here's the fuel station anyway. We get there. Fill her up. Go back. Get my logos. And then get this mission completed. Fill her up, y'all. Is that all you got? Come on. Give me some more. Oh wow. Okay. Now I've got a lot. Well, now I've got effectively about 800 kilograms of fuel or so or 900 oh, i forget what the uh, liters to how much fuel weighs really but basically we're now a lot heavier which i'm not quite sure if it's a good idea or not so let's see how this thing drives on the way back nice and easy now again luckily we have four wheel drive and diff lock in this thing so we can pretty much just go through every scenario don't hit that or hit that do what you want you know be your own truck right let's go for that second gear perfect if you don't crunch gears, you're not a real trucko driver, man. So I can see our friend there, the lumber truck. What we've got to do is get over there now and not crash. I, I think I'm going to just leave it in second gear. I don't really care about the fuel I'm using right now because I'm not only doing a small scenario. Maybe on a bigger scenario, I'll be a bit more... Um, a bit more mm, attentive with the gears, but it's just easy to just, just whack, whack it in second and just sort of plow through at the moment. Right, so take two, advanced fuel system. Uh, fuel her up, boys. Then we want to change truck. Do this. 
to the mill. So both diff lock and all wheel drive on. From what I know, diff lock, you want to have it on in this sort of scenario. But when you're on roads, etc., when you have a, a lot less resistance, take diff lock off. That, that's pretty much my understanding of it. So we're going left here across this very rickety looking bridge. Oh, man. I sort of almost want to go to the off-ball camera and have a look. Oh, well, yeah, you just get some birds, don't I? <laughs> don't drive over the bridge. What? But the bridge is there. Oh, uh, whatever. No, you must go through water like a man. <laughs> no. Right, where are these birds at? I need to calm myself down and scare some birds. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck your nature. Right, I'm going to go for second gear when we go over this crest here. Try and pick up a bit of speed. We're coming up to a... Uh, to a paddle here. Uh, I guess I'm actually going to try and avoid it and go up. No, I've got lumber. I don't want to do that. Very easy to roll this sort of truck. I know that from the original spin tyres. When you're just on an angle. Especially when you've got a lot of weight. And when it's quite high up, the centre of gravity is quite high as well. It's very easy to roll one of these things over. Doing quite well in second right now. I'm going to leave it in second. Wow, really plowing through now. All right, can we take third? What does, what does the truck think? No. No, okay. Third is a mistake. I think maybe first and second are really the only gears you want to be using. Nearly here. Hopefully I haven't got to do any annoying parking because this is a big, cumbersome, lumber, some trucko. Unload! boy and i actually did none of the bonus objectives oh well i guess we'll do one more little challenge here this one is to climb a hill what are the route to get to the top of the hill sounds easy enough don't damage your vehicle or any other vehicle which i'm going to fail because i can't shift don't use your winch which hopefully i won't and always use the cockpit camera when driving so we should hopefully get two of those maybe three right so here's our little baby trucko quite cute in comparison to what we've been using uh before uh we're starting in some water here which is a nice enough place to start so on board uh handbrake off diff lock let's go this is the sort of thing that i really enjoy in these sort of games the really slow and careful ascent of uneven rows so i can't problem is with the cockpit camera is you lose a lot of the rows you have to sort of just guess whereabouts you are uh so i guess we're gonna take a left here by the look of the lay of the land nice and easy okay i'm gonna keep it in first gear for now this diff lock and all-wheel drive really helping no 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 come on now there you go easy first time uh left i think i can't really see where i'm going yeah left okay this is actually a little bit terrifying nice and easy nice and easy so the the trail just falls away from you on the left and on the right there's just big old roccos that could get the uh the truck up on a couple of wheels which i don't want i'm going to have to turn sharply here because i can't see what's next there it is there's the arrow this is actually quite tense <laughs> come on now i wants us to go right here so this is actually a little bit of a respite no sheer drop another one coming up i'm trying not to damage this car or use the winter tool so this is a sharp turn to the left here a bit more throttle i'm being very soft on the throttle just trying to avoid any sort of wheel spinner tool ah no i'm gonna get a bit harder on the throttle there just about getting us over come on there you go nice we're just about over there so i guess we're going back down now oh wow that's steep no! Don't stall! Don't stall! Come on, Tars, pull me over. Pull me over. This thing is a little trooper. Can't imagine doing this in the lumber truck, though. That would be a little bit terrifying. Come on, throttle. No, come on. We're very close. Come on. Come on. I'm going to have to rethink that. I think I'm going to take a bit of a tighter line here. With the revs. There we go. Up, 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 up. Nice. That was good to use the clutch, but oh, not quite enough. I might have to reverse round here and then take a run up, I think. Ah, there's a first. I can't look behind me, though, which is 
sort of terrifying. So, right, let's have a look at this. Can I get a better look at this fruit? Hell no! That's us going over. That's us going over. Brakes on. Okay, go, go, go. Yes. Yes. Come on. No, come on. We had it then. We had it then. Come on. It's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. Yes. Okay, nice. Got there in the end. That was a tiny bit scary. Wow. We did it. First time. Three star. And only a little bit of poo came out. Well, guys, that was me trying out Spin Tires My Friend with a Wheel. It's actually usable. I actually don't dislike it. I mean, I'd probably end up using a gamepad for more casual play. But for stuff like that, climbing a hill, that was a lot of fun doing that with the wheel and pedals. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe to be notified of future videos. Not quite sure what you guys are going to make of this. I know this isn't my usual sort of video, but hopefully it's enjoyable anyway. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. See you all next time.